Alrighty guys, so let's go over stacking. Now basically what stacking is, is another way of managing your photos into neat organized stacks. Uh, and, and essentially how this works is if you were to imagine your desk being full of photos and you take these photos and you kind of organize them into uh, little piles on your desk with similar photos in each pile, that's essentially what a stack is. And so how you stack photos is you select one photo and then you're going to hit control or shift and you're going to select a range or, or a grouping with control. So I'm going to just click uh, this first photo for the one bag um, and then I'm going to click this last one. And I'm going to stack these all into one group and to do that I'm going to hit control plus G. And right away you see that they get piled up and you can see this little stacking icon in the top left that shows that this is part of a stack of 10 photos. It'll give you a number right there that tells you how many photos are stacked. So there's a few ways that I can expand this stack now. Uh, the easiest way is probably using the shortcut key which is S. So if I hit S it's going to expand the stack and if I hit S again it's going to contract the stack. Okay, another way I can expand and collapse, I can just click this icon right here. It's also going to expand. If I click it again, it's going to collapse it. If I click the arrow, or not the arrow, this little double lines on the right side, it's going to also expand it. And if I click the arrows on the le or the lines on the left side, it's going to contract it as well. So that's three different ways of controlling your stack. So hopefully you guys will remember one of those three. Um, so let's expand the stack. And we have a couple different options of once you're inside of a stack of just kind of different ways of controlling the stack. Um, and so if I go and right click on the stack uh, little set icon on the top left, it's going to give me some stacking options. One is to unstack it, one is to remove it from the stack, split from stack, and each of these have a slightly different uh, kind of function. Unstacking is going to unstack every one of these uh, images in this stack. Remove from stack is just going to remove the single image that I've selected. Splitting it from the stack is going to split some of the images, whatever images I have selected, into a new stack. Okay, And then there's also additional ways of collapsing and expanding by hitting collapse stack. Um, and then if you use these, it's going to collapse all stacks. So meaning all stacks inside of your catalog are going to be collapsed or all stacks inside of your catalog will be expanded. So I'm going to hit collapse stack from here. And again, it contracts and collapses our stack. Now, there's a couple things to note. I can stack these images right now because I'm in the standard view seeing all of my photos. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand the stack and I'm going to just click on any one of these and I'm going to say unstack. So it's going to unstack all of these photos. So now we see all of our photos again, we're outside of the stack. If I click on these collections right here, like say this one bag solo shoot, which is those first 10 images, and I try to select all again and group it into a stack, it's not going to let me. I'm going to hit control G now and nothing happens. Why? Because you can't actually stack images when you're viewing them in a collection. Okay, you can only stack images outside of a collection. So to stack these 10, I need to be outside the collection viewing all the images from here. And then I can hit Control G and it's automatically going to stack them. Second thing is when you're in a collection, it's not going to show the stack because when we're viewing a collection, we're viewing it completely separate and it's going to show collection items only. So it, it doesn't even indicate that these are actually part of a stack. But when I go back to originals, again, it shows me these are part of a stack. Okay, so I'm going to go through and I'm going to stack up each of these sets based on each cover. So there's six there. I'm going to hit Control-G to stack those. Here's the next six. Control-G to stack those. And here's the next six. Control-G. The next grouping, Control-G. And then I'm going to stack up all these model ones where they're together into one stack. So I'm going to hit Control-G again. So now we've organized our photos into six little neat stacks and we can see the number of each. And we can do... Again, if I right-click on this stacking option, I have the option to collapse all stacks, which already they're, they're all collapsed, or expand all. So if I expand all, we can see everything again, just like how we would normally. And if I click the one bag model shoot down here, it shows me all those 35 images, but again, they're outside their stacks. Okay, so now that I've grouped my images up into six stacks, I want to show you guys one other cool organizational function of stacks that's uh, really quite handy dandy. So if you notice right here, what we see is in these stacks, I see rejected images on top. Well, what if I want to see the images that we're actually selecting to be on top of these stacks? Well, what I can do is expand this stack. I'm going to expand this first uh, cover stack. And all I got to do is right click on my stack icon again, and I can say move to top of stack, move up in stack, or move down in stack. Now move up and move down is going to move it one place up or down. Move to the top is going to move it all the way to the top. So I'm going to select that for these 
two images that I'm actually keeping. And now I can see in this stack that both the images that I've kept are at the top of the stack and the rejects are behind it. So when I collapse it, I'll at least see one of the images that I've selected and then when I expand it, I can see the first two are the selections. So I'm actually going to go through each of the rest of these stacks and move the flagged images to the top of each stack. All right, so stacking is another way that you guys can group images based on a scene or based on however you guys want. Um, now, just as a side note, we typically don't use stacks in the studio, mainly because I find that there's enough other organizational features with collections and keywords outside of stacking. And, I, and also, a lot of times when I'm looking through my images, sometimes I forget that they're stacked. I forget to look up here and see that they're actually stacked, and so I kind of end up looking for things longer than I should. But that is another way that you guys can group images and, uh, and organize your files.